In Iowa news, a Senate subcommittee is getting some pushback over a measure that would limit how DNR can buy land. State House reporter Skylar Talal is tracking the debate for us at the Capitol. More than a dozen Iowans are speaking out against a proposal that would prohibit the Department of Natural Resources from acquiring property at an auction. Many worry this will restrict the expansion of public land access here in Iowa. The citizens of Iowa indicate that our citizens would like more opportunities for public access, public wildlife areas, public recreation areas. Right now, only a handful of Iowans are telling lawmakers they're in favor of moving the proposal forward. One supporter, the Iowa Farm Bureau, wants to see less competition between farmers in the state when it comes to purchasing land. In the past, our farmers have had concerns about government dollars competing against farmers for land purchases. Uh, we appreciate that the state has stated that they are largely not competing for land. Competition isn't the goal. Some opponents worry Iowans will move out of state if there aren't more public outdoor activities, with the Iowa Environmental Council pointing out people are already crossing state lines for things like spring break. But a lot of families are going out of state for those opportunities because we have so few public lands in the state and such little access to parks and trails. And we need to be trying to keep those dollars in our state by expanding parks and public lands. The chair of the subcommittee, GOP Rep Austin Harris, says he's surprised by the opposition stating the DNR already opts out of purchasing land at auctions, arguing this would just codify current practices. It's a good policy. It exists today, and I want to make sure it exists tomorrow. That's why I introduced the bill. The proposal did advance without Democrat support and now heads to the full state government committee. In Des Moines, Skeletal Law reporting.